601 and a mobile home burst into flames overnight and the family had to move quickly as Jordan Burgess is live. He has details now this morning's top story. At this hour, firefighters are still keeping an eye on that mobile home here at Village Park off Dryden Road. And you can see it. It's just down the street here. A little bit dark at this point in the morning, but you can kind of see some of that damage to the home. It basically looks like somebody just took a huge chunk out of it. Now, we can tell you this morning that everybody is safe, but that three mobile homes were damaged. And this is why flames just melted away the metal on this mobile home here at Village Park off Dryden Road. Fire officials say a woman was cooking up a late night snack when somehow things got out of control. She ran outside and pounded on the doors of the people living on either side of her to warn them about the flames and that allowed them to escape the clouds of smoke circling their homes. Firefighters were able to battle back the flames and keep the damage to those neighboring homes to a minimum but the place where the fire started is now in ruins. The woman who lives there was treated for some minor smoke inhalation. The others escaped the flames unharmed, in part because they were prepared to make a quick getaway. I've always told the kids, keep your shoes by your bed. And I, I don't know, I've never had anything like this happen. I guess that's probably why. Because as soon as I got up, I slipped my shoes on and I yelled for the boys and we just ran out the back door. Hey, good advice if you have to get out of something quick like a fire at these homes this morning. Now, I talked with that woman. She says that she thinks she'll be out of that home for at least a few days just because of all the smoke damage. But thankfully, the structure itself doesn't seem like it suffered too much damage. Of course, the home where the fire started is just a mess this morning. Appears to be a total loss. And that woman will likely have to find somewhere else to stay. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.